This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WGBW Daily News Roundup for the Talk of Green Bay, 97.9 FM and 1590 AM. For 97.9 WGBW News, I'm Lisa Hale. The Wisconsin Department of Administration has released a report estimating that the state will have a $4 billion, that's billion with a B, dollar surplus at the end of the fiscal year. According to a press release, that $4 billion surplus is in addition to the nearly $2 billion rainy day fund. In a statement, Governor Tony Evers says he wants to use the surplus funding to continue making critical investments in the state's economy. The Department of Revenue also shared tax revenue estimates for the next three years, showing small increases of about 2 to 3 percent. As Wisconsin's gun deer hunting season approaches, the Department of Natural Resources is reminding hunters to practice proper safety. The gun deer season will run from November 23rd to December 1st, and hunters should remember to follow all regulations and the TAB K rules for firearm safety. The TAB K rules remind hunters to treat every firearm as if it's loaded, Always point the muzzle in a safe direction, be certain of your target and what's in front of it and behind it, and keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Before you head out to the woods to hunt this year, be sure to check your stand for safety. Melissa Kay reports. Tree stands are the leading cause of hunting-related injuries and deaths in the U.S., Statistics show that about one in three hunters risk falling and facing serious injury. This is higher for archery hunters at 28 percent and firearm hunters around 13 percent of falling or nearly falling. You should inspect your equipment thoroughly before you plan to start hunting. Use a lifeline every time you climb. You should wear a full body harness at all times. Always follow the three-point rule. Use a haul line for your gear and have a hunting plan that you share with someone you trust. With the gun deer hunting season getting underway this week, officials from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources are encouraging hunters to participate in their deer donation program. The program has been helping to stock food pantries across the state ahead of the holiday season for over 20 years, and hunters have donated over 94,000 deer since its inception. To donate a deer, hunters must field dress it, register it, and test it for chronic wasting disease. Then contact their local processor to ensure they have space. Blustery and brutal as the temperatures shifted and snow painted the state's landscape for the first time this season yesterday. Meteorologist Brittany Merlot has more. Areas in the Fox Valley and Lakeshore picked up the most, coming down heavy at times and dropping visibility drastically. Totals piled up for most areas at around two to five inches. But in Slinger and Beaver Dam, reports hit a high of 6.8 inches, well over a half a foot. With winter weather advisories alongside wind advisories, waves crashed along the shores of the Great Lakes at heights reaching 12 feet, pushing gale warnings into effect as well. Now, lake enhancement was the main player in the snow piles because the colder air rushed over the warmer waters, and winds were clocked gusting up to 46 miles per hour in Door County's Gills Rock. Flipping to rain through the afternoon, a majority of it will melt, but the storm was needed. 46% of the state is still in a drought, so this will help areas in the southeast the most. However, this leaves far northern parts of the state still in a severe drought because they missed out on some of the heavier totals this round. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Today, we have an update for that bizarre story about a Wisconsin kayaker that police say faked his own death. Police are now in a position where they're asking him to come home. Savannah Tomei Olson has the latest. Authorities say 45-year-old Ryan Borgwar of Watertown staged a scene with his kayak at Green Lake back in August to make it look like he had drowned. Officials searched for him for six weeks. Green Lake County Sheriff Mark Podol. He didn't expect us to go more than two weeks in searching for him. Well, I hate to tell you, he picked the wrong sheriff in the wrong department. Then they learned his passport had been checked in Canada just a day or two after he disappeared. He had bought a new life insurance policy earlier this year and had a relationship with a woman in Uzbekistan. Now the sheriff says they've spoken with him. He's sent them a video to prove he's alive and okay. They believe he's somewhere in Eastern Europe. They just haven't figured out where. 
but he also told authorities about how he staged the scene and escaped. He researched the deepest lake in the state, found out it's Green Lake. He hid an e-bike nearby and then took a kid-sized inflatable boat into the middle of the lake to leave his kayak and dropped his phone into the water. He got back to shore on that kitty raft. He hopped on the e-bike, got to Madison, took a bus to Detroit, and then went through the Canadian border. The sheriff said now their main focus is trying to convince him to come home. He even got choked up during the press conference. Christmas is coming. And what better gift he could give his kids is to be there for Christmas. Borgwart would likely face charges if he came home. The sheriff said he could be charged with obstruction of justice and could be ordered to pay back the forty to $50,000 spent searching for him. I'm Lisa Hale, 97.9 WGBW News. For news anytime, log on to WGBW.FM. The Packers missing some players. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. The Green Bay Packers host the 49ers at Lambeau Field, but head coach Matt LaFleur says they'll likely be without two of their best defensive starters. Cornerback Jair Alexander has a torn PCL, suffered three weeks ago in Jacksonville. Then at Wednesday's practice, rookie linebacker Edrin Cooper pulled a hamstring. Did not practice for Jair and Edrin Cooper. Any uh, concern about Sunday for him? Yes. Kickoff at 325. College football, Wisconsin heads to Nebraska to play the Cornhuskers at Memorial Stadium. Game time tomorrow, 2.30. Nebraska, one and a half point favorites. NBA, it's the Bucks and the Pacers tonight in Milwaukee. Okay, we have an incredible team coming in. Indiana beat us, I think, four or five times last year. No, actually, no. Way more. Seven times? Seven, eight times? We gotta play defense. We gotta move the ball. They wanna play fast. We gotta sprint back. We gotta take guys serious. But we're trading towards the right direction right now, so I'm happy. That's Giannis Antetokounmpo with Sports. I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. So how do you stop getting offered annoying roles in rom-coms that pay you 15 million bucks? If you're Matthew McConaughey, you make a stand and say no thank you and move your family to a ranch in Texas. On the Good Trouble podcast, McConaughey said he had to leave Hollywood because of rom-com roles. The Dazed and Confused star said it was a scary move, and at one point he thought he might have to get another job like teach at a high school until he found out they make nowhere near $15 million. Having summers off only goes so far. If your favorite Ghostbuster was Ray Stance, this might bring you down. Dan Ackroyd says he has no interest in playing the role again. The Saturday Night Live alum and original cast member has played the character over the course of 40 years and says the franchise is in good hands with actors like Paul Rudd and Carrie Coon moving forward. Glicked's weekend is here, and Wicked and Gladiator have high hopes for a box office splash. Wicked is expected to be the box office winner with Universal Studios hoping for a $100 to $110 million opener. Paramount is hoping Gladiator 2 pulls in about $65 million, which would be a healthy start for a film that costs $250 million million to make. Even those healthy estimates would have this twosome fall short of Barbenheimer's opening weekend, which pulled in $235 million a year and a half ago. Actress Rosemarie DeWitt recently appeared on the Drew Barrymore show and said her husband, Ron Livingston, was so despised for his role as Jack Berger on Sex in the City that he couldn't even walk in New York City without rabid fans yelling and screaming at him. Ironically, when Livingston wanders through an office, he gets constant reminders about his TPS reports. Guy can't catch a break. If the Academy Awards have any meaning at all, they will nominate Denise Denis Villeneuve for Best Director for Dune 2. Those are the words of actor Josh Brolin, who seems serious, adding he might quit acting altogether if his friend is not nominated for Best Director. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, me too. The first Dune received 10 Oscar nominations in 2022, but not for Best Director, which obviously does not sit well with the No Country for Old Men actor. Thespians do tend to be a bit dramatic, but I hope Brolin doesn't quit acting. He's pretty good at it. Those of you who are shower indifferent, love camping in mud, and would like a shot at a serious injury, might be interested to know that headliners for 2025's Coachella have been announced. Lady Gaga, Green Day, Post Malone, and Travis Scott will perform, and there will be an appearance by Yo Gabba Gabba. Can't hardly wait to not attend. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Cloudy and a little breezy today. We'll get to around 45 this afternoon with wind out of the northwest at 15 to 25. Tonight, 32. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a little more sunshine in the afternoon. 42 the high that on Sunday, cloudy with a high of 46. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it's 42. That's your WGBW Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WGBW.FM. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. 
Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 